and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here hello my name is Mika thank you so much for stopping in today let's have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation y'all about your negative self-talk what are you talking to yourself about what are you what are you believing for yourself when you wake up in the morning what are you saying what's the first thing you're saying are you complaining that you got a job to go to are you complaining because you're so tired are you telling yourself oh I look ugly this is, uh, this is terrible. I'm glad nobody can see me when I first wake up in the morning. What are you saying to yourself when you're going throughout your day? When you're seeing people on, so on social media getting engaged or married or going on trips to see their family or just traveling and things like that. Are you saying to yourself, that'll never be me? What are you saying to yourself? You see, honestly, everything that we want, we have the power within us to speak it into our lives. How can we believe that for the negative stuff? Put it to the test. Go talk to some of your friends about something negative and watch what they're going to say to you. You better stop saying they're going to speak it into existence. Well, how come we don't say that about good stuff? When, when people are talking positive and speaking life into their self, speaking happiness and joy into their life, how can we don't say you better speak it into existence? You know what I'm saying? So, we have to stop focusing so much on the negative things because no matter what you're speaking, good or bad, when you put it out in the atmosphere and trust me, Satan is going to hear you. If you're, if you're coming into agreement with Satan, with saying you'll never have this, you'll never be good enough, you'll never be pretty enough, you'll never be handsome enough, you'll never be tall enough, you'll never be fit enough, you'll never, 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 then guess what? He like this, mm, got you right where I want you. But if you speak against that, if you feel that way, okay. That's okay. Don't speak it. You feel that way, but you speak against that, that voice that you're that you got going on in your own head, that voice that's telling you, oh girl, you ain't never gonna be this. Oh man, you 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 always gonna be poor. You speak against that. I am I am so wealthy. I am so beautiful. I'm a great wife. I'm a great husband. I'm a great pick. I am X, Y, and Z, positive things. You may not have it. Stop waiting until you have it in order to, to believe it. You need to believe it before time. Because you wait until you have it or until it comes into existence, it ain't going to be any good by then. And it's going to say it, came, it took forever to come to you because you, you don't believe it. If you don't believe it, all you're doing is just is putting up a wall to keep it out. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to give me a new job, but internally and verbally, you're saying, I'm never going to get a new job. I'm never going to, I'm never going to get a new position. I'm never going to be offered a higher pay grade or you're saying that, but then you're also saying the opposite. You, you can't like negative and positive speaking it out of your mouth. It, it the negative is always going to win. So make sure that when you're when you are speaking on something is positive and that you also internally believe it because when you internally believe it you'll start to walk in that it'll start to show up but if you don't you're like oh yeah i'm, I'm about to i'm about to do this i'm about to do that and then internally you're like i can never do that i'm terrified I, that never happened for me guess what's going to happen you're going to start to move like it meaning you're not going to even put in the work to do it or to get it and then eventually you're going to speak those words right out of your mouth. They're going to come straight on out. And that's when Satan's going to be like this. Yes. Excited. Ask me how I know. Because I do know. Because I've been a, a person who's done that plenty of times. I've been that person who, oh, God's going to do this for me. And, and God's going to do that for me. And it's hide. I'm like, he's not going to do that for me. And guess what? Eventually, I'll be, I won't even notice it. This is how good the enemy is. I don't even be noticing. I just, I'll be trying to hold it in. Like, okay, you don't, you don't, don't say that. Don't say that. And then like one day I'll be talking to my girlfriends and I'll be like, girl, I really want to do this, but it ain't going to happen for me. You messed up now because you spoke on it and now it's not going to happen. And if it does happen, it's just going to take a long time because you really have to build up that faith. Like they say, you can't have faith without the work. You can't. 
You have to, it has to come hand in hand. When you believe it and you're speaking on it and you're putting it in God's hands and you're saying, you know what, I believe this is going to happen. This is what's going to happen. I'm going to stand on your promise, but I'm also going to position myself to get that promise. We be wanting God to do all the work for us. We want Jesus to come through and hold our hand and walk us to the promise that God has promised us. But that ain't the way it works. He's not going to do that. He's a God of choices, of free will. Therefore, that means that you have to show them that you want it. They're not going to come down and say, you know what? It's, it's, you playing too much now. Come on. All right. This is where you need to be at right now. All right. Let's walk over here now. Okay. This, they're not going to do that. And I think that when we finally understand that, you're in a whole different space. Because, I, you know, I was guilty of this for a really long time, and I still be guilty of it. I'm waiting on God. God, like, excuse me? You're not waiting on me because I gave you the promise. The promise is already there with your name on it. You're not doing the work to get there. So are we waiting on me or are we waiting on you? This is your life. And so... We have to remember that. We have to get into a space where we are speaking positive over our own lives. We get so mad about somebody else saying something bad about us. Oh, this person, oh, they marriage ain't gonna work. She, she never gonna get married. He's never gonna be this. He never gonna get that job. He never gonna look good. We get so mad, don't we, when people do that. But yeah, we do it to ourselves. And we come into agreement with them and Satan when we're believing it. And we're speaking on that. And we're, we're we're not even trying because, oh, they must be right. But out in public, oh, don't talk about me. But behind closed doors, yeah, they're right. They're right. And then, oh, what's going to show up? What's going to manifest in your life? Them being right. You see what I'm saying? So practice positive thinking. Change your mindset. Believe and truly believe. Stop speaking negative words. I don't care if you wake up out of bed and you look like somebody punched you in the face. You still say, I look good. I'm healthy. I'm good. You can, you can go to the doctor and they can, they can give you a negative doctor's report. You say, hey, you speak against it. Thank you, God, that I don't have X, Y, and Z. Thank you, God, that Everything's working perfect in my body. Your blood levels can be high or too low. You say everything's everything's perfect with me. Because you have the power to speak against the enemy. And that's all. He, if he can get you to come into agreement with him, that's all he needs. That's all he needs. And he will destroy your life. His goal is to kill, steal, and destroy. And when you come into agreement with him and his, and his demons... The demons is attached to these people that's writing negative stuff about you or saying negative stuff about you. They got you. You're in a trap and it's so hard to get out of it. Speak against it. You stand up and you believe it. You can't just speak. You have to believe it. You have to start moving like you got the job. You have to start moving like the money is in your bank account. You got to start carrying yourself like abundance is, a, is flowing over you. You need to start carrying yourself like a wife. Start carrying yourself like a husband. Start carrying carrying yourself as a parent. Whatever it is, if it's not in existence, start carrying yourself like it. Start it right now. Well, who's it going to harm if you're already moving in the way that you want to be anyway? It's going to help you in the long run. You ain't got to try to figure it out when the time comes. You're just going to keep on being you as you're moving through this, the new season of your life with the things that you're praying for, the things that you're asking God for. Think about it. Y'all let me know what you think. All I ask is that you polite and courteous in the comment box because someone like myself is reading your comments and we are not here to be negative. We're just here to just give each other help, different ways to look at things, and some encouragement. So go ahead and drop your comments below. Let me know what you think. Drop a testimony. We have fun on this channel. We are just here to uplift one another, help each other grow to and live our fullest, best lives. So go ahead and drop those comments and we will talk next time. Bye.